What is up, my camera crew? If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Sam Aldrich, aka Sam the Cameraman. And if you guys aren't yet a part of the camera crew, make sure you subscribe, become a part. I am making it a personal goal to hit th this channel to hit 10,000 subscribers in the next six months. That might seem a little low. I know some people are a little bit more ambitious, but you know what? I think 10,000 subscribers is insane i would be more than grateful I'm more than grateful for the four thousand of you guys that are already subscribed but hey you know what let's shoot for the moon let's get even more let's go to ten thousand then a hundred thousand then a million let's do it i know we can we can blow this thing up and i mean when we hit ten thousand subscribers i'm going to do some kind of super cool giveaway still haven't decided on what yet so make sure that you are subscribed so you can see what that's going to be it's going to be something big it's going to be like a camera body or something of that nature, not just something small. So it's going to be something pretty cool. So you don't want to miss out. So subscribe, let's hit 10,000 subscribers and let's just uh, see where this thing can go. But anyways, we're here with a, another tutorial. It is going to be a time slice, timeline slice, time lapse effect. I think I said that right. That is a lot to say, but either way, it's the effect that you guys just saw. It's pretty cool. We're going to keep this one kind of short. I know the intro is a little drawn out and I'm sorry. However, let's get into DaVinci Resolve and let's get going. All right, guys. So now that we are in DaVinci Resolve, we are going to be doing this really cool time lapse, time slice effect. So as you can see, I already have my time lapse in here, but since that bad boy is 12 freaking seconds long, we don't want that. I'm going to crank it up probably like to 248. Good enough for me. All right. And the next thing we want to do is start duplicating this layer. So that way we can create the effect. So for this purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to go a little bit wider than what I did um, with uh, the tutorial or the intro. So we're going to come over 12 frames. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So we got 12 frames over. You're going to hold Alt or Option on a, uh, on a Mac. We're going to come up and we're just going to slide this one over 12. And you're going to repeat that for as many or as many layers as you need we're going to do nine layers in this one however i think my tutorial from the one for the intro i think that was like 24 like 32 layers so it can get quite a bit um you know it can get pretty packed on that timeline with 32 layers so but uh i'm gonna quick run through this and we will uh catch you back in one second All right, so now that we have all of our layers stacked up and ready to go, we aren't going to mess with this bottom layer because that's like our master layer. We don't need to really mess with it. Well, I wouldn't even say master layer. It's just our first layer. So we're going to come to the second one, and we're going to make sure the cropping tool is open. And all we're going to do is crop left. This one's going to go left to right. You can go up, down, top, bottom, right to left, left to right, however you want to do it. Um... I mean, if you really wanted, you could draw a mask and on all of these and you could, you know, do it diagonally. However, the easiest way is going to just be doing with the cropping tool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just put on here 240 and then we're going to come into the next one. Each one, whatever you do for the first one, it has to be the same increments, but double. So let's say we put 12 on the first one. The next one has to be 24 and then, you know, 36 and then 48. So. The second one, since we did 240 for the first one, is got to be 480. And it's going to make these cool little sections. So then 480 plus 240 is 720. You know, when you're in school and you always think you're not going to have to use math when you get older, I would say that is probably 90% right, depending on what job you're doing. But uh, you do have to use some simple addition in here, unfortunately. All right, where are we? Let's go over here. And 720 plus 240, that is going to be, what is that going to be? 960. Look at that. We're going to get this together, guys, I swear. So 960 plus 240 is going to be 1,200. As we can see with these, as it goes through, 
it's going to create this black space like a transparency is what that technically is if you wanted to utilize like these wiping off into like another scene or to reveal a logo kind of like what i did for the intro that's where you would put it is down under here in that first video layer and you could reveal whatever it is you'd like but if you want to like have this be drawn out a little bit longer all you got to do is highlight these and same as duplicating the other layers hold alt or option on a mac and just drag it on over and we're going to do it one more time and it is as simple as that all right we're going to let this thing render through now and once this line turns completely blue we'll watch it back in full screen and we can see what a beautiful work of art this has become all right now that this is completely rendered through we can hit Control f and or command f and we're going to hit play and we're going to watch this through and look at that it is a very cool time slice timeline you know slicing and dicing up these time lapse whatever you want to call it it's pretty dang cool and it just kind of keeps going through and eventually will reveal whatever it is that you wanted to reveal so all right so that's another really quick tutorial for you guys this is another really simple way to like kind of diversify your time lapses or like make something really cool out of them i know that sometimes you know almost every time lapse is like really cool but uh you know not everyone is doing stuff like this so if you want to maybe stand out from the crowd a little bit try something like this uh it's fun to do and i think like i said it's a cool way to like reveal even like something underneath it or you know whatever it is so it's a cool way to utilize your timeline or your time lapses I'm gonna get those two mixed up forever now but uh let me know what you guys think of this tutorial i know that it was requested actually so i'm pumped for you guys to check it out and uh you know smash that like button you know it helps me it helps the channel and like i said we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers for the next six months so what is that it is let's just say it's february so by august 10k subs i know we can do it i see the analytics most y'all aren't actually subscribed believe it or not you know so you know it doesn't take a lot just hit that subscribe button you know and you know it's considered an act of kindness it'll help you feel better helps me feel better and we're you know we all win so let's hit 10,000 subs we're gonna do a dope giveaway when it's all said and done we get there if we hit it sooner maybe I'll do two camera body giveaways who knows I don't know what you know 10,000 subs is a big deal so we got to do something big something big for the camera crew that's you guys so uh, make sure you subscribe smash the low, uh, thumbs up button share this to any of your video editing friends I love you guys so much, and I'm going to catch you in the next tutorial.